The following is brought to you by the International Food Information Council Foundation, which is dedicated to communicating science-based information on health, nutrition, and food safety for the public good. A friend sent me an email about something she read on the internet about sucralose and chlorine. What's the scoop? Well, it is true that sucralose, the low-calorie sweetener, contains chlorine. But in fact, this is perfectly safe. Sucralose starts with sugar. Chlorine is added to help make sucralose extra sweet. The chlorine prevents the body from breaking down the sweetener and using it for energy. Sucralose quickly passes through the body with all the chlorine still attached. Now, if you're still worried, consider that chlorine is naturally found in many other foods you eat. It's part of the salt on these pretzels, for example, and in the slices of bread you would make a sandwich with. It's also found in other healthful foods, like peas and lentils. Over the course of 20 years, researchers have done more than 100 studies on sucralose, and they found that it doesn't cause any harmful health effects, even when used over a lifetime. Food safety authorities in the U.S. and around the world consider sucralose to be safe. It's been FDA approved as a general purpose sweetener, meaning it can be used to sweeten anything. Sucralose is safe for everyone, including children and women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. The same goes for people with diabetes. Unlike sugar, sucralose doesn't raise insulin or blood sugar levels. Because sucralose is calorie free, it can let you enjoy your morning coffee, your afternoon tea, and sweet treats like fruit smoothies, puddings, and sorbets with fewer calories from sugar in your overall diet. Now that's what I call sweet news. Giving you the scoop, I'm registered dietitian Carolyn O'Neill. This has been brought to you by the International Food Information Council Foundation. For more information on low calorie sweeteners, visit www.foodinsight.org/sweeteners.aspx